y'all. It has been so long since I last filmed something. Um, I think it's been like well over a month now. The reason for that is because I just moved house. Um, I will be putting out a moving uh, vlog of some sort. It's going to be a real like mix of me buying furniture, me moving. Um, it doesn't really have like a necessarily like a structure to it. It's just going to be a mixed match of like what I've been doing um, surrounding moving. But anyway, that's not what we're here for today. Today we're here for a haul. I have a pretty sustainable, pretty good sustainable haul um, for you all. It's a mix of thrifted, secondhand, and small business pieces. So stay tuned if you want to um, watch that and see what I've got. I've also got a coffee here. Um, and if you can hear any noise outside, it's because it's quite windy at the moment. Um, so I apologize if you can hear anything, but cheers and let's get to hauling. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some Depop pieces. So the first piece, which you might have already seen in my last video, um, is this skirt. Now, this skirt is... Woo, let me move. This skirt, um, like I said, is from Depop. Uh, it has this amazing thick, like, piercing, um, like, detail here. Uh, and then it's just, like, very, like, bodycon kind of fit. I originally was purchasing this strictly just because I wanted this piece from it so I wanted to cut that off and use it as a necklace but once I got the piece I was like oh I could actually wear this to work and I really like that it's got this big um like hardware here so I've decided to keep it as a whole and if I do later on decide that I want to take the ring off and use it as a necklace I will but I picked that up for I believe like $15 and it's the brand twin okay the second piece is this skirt so uh, I got two skirts from Depop this one is a little bit outside my normal like color scheme my normal style but it's a bit more of like a I guess it leans more into that um, what was that trend that everybody's going around when Bridgerton came out? Uh, I can't remember. I'll put it up somewhere if I remember what it was called. But anyway, it's this like lace up ivory colored skirt with the garter clips at the bottom. I haven't worn this yet because I'm a little bit scared in terms of the fact that it's like ivory and I feel like I'm going to stain it like really quickly. <laughs> um, but also it's like a very new piece for me, but it's part of... Um, like a new era in my fashion that I'm trying to explore. So I'm definitely excited to try this piece out and I believe I picked it up for like 35 or something like that. Okay, so this piece is sort of like, I guess, like a hand-me-down kind of vibe. So I have a friend who passed this uh, cap on to me. I freaking love this cap so much. Um, it has a silver skull, flaming skull here, and then it's silver it says Gotham City House of Sin on it. And I love this cap so much. It does push my ears out a little bit, so I try to like, position it properly but it just looks like that on I just think this cap is really cool and now that I have a shaved head I do need to like practice my sun protection a bit more um, so I am getting way more into caps now but I just think the silver and the black combination on this is sick the next piece is a pair of pants so I went uh, thrifting with a work friend of mine and I picked up these pants they're like silky um, I'd say silky straight leg pants. I'm getting really into this material. Um, I remember when they were really big um, a couple years ago and people were getting them in, them in like a really flowy silky material, but these are a bit more of like a structured pant, which is definitely more my style. Um, but they're a nice thick material. I got it for $7 from Salvos. The only thing I don't like is they have a stretch waistband. And I feel like that's something I'd want to cover up. Um, I am getting into sewing a bit, so I may consider replacing the uh, elastic with a normal band, but that seems a bit complex for me at the moment. So regardless, they're very cool. They fit really nicely, um, and they're definitely uh, a piece that I am going to see myself wearing a lot to work, and just in general as well. Okay, so in a very similar style, I have these shiny black pants. They're by a vintage Australian brand called Blockout, um, and on camera right now I won't do them justice but they are a straight leg and then they boot cut right at the bottom um, they are low rise and I was out here thinking I would never ever get low rise but here we are um, they also have a slit at the ankle um, which looks really cool over like chunky boots uh, yeah so they, they they're, it's weird because I don't really like low rise that much but they fit me pretty well I just may have to make sure that I'm, I don't like bend over too much or else I feel like I kind of like explode out everywhere um but these were 35 from lost and found market okay the last piece i got was this oversized men's pinstripe blazer i will insert a picture here there's this picture um and this fashion trend kind of vibe that i've seen on depop that i love and it's where people are taking oversized men's blazers and turning them into like mini crop jackets with a matching mini skirt 
love that look. I'm into this kind of like gothic businessy look at the moment. Um, so I picked this one up. It's pretty big on me, but the shoulders fit nicely in terms of them giving me um, like a nice shape. And then there's enough of a bottom on it to make a skirt as well. And it's, yeah, just pinstripe all over. I think I paid $15 for this. Lastly, I picked up this tie. I have recently been getting into ties. I only have one, I have a black one. Um, but I just think ties are definitely my new sort of like vibe that I've been going for. So this one is like a, crim a crimson maroony sort of color, I guess. Um, and it's just a like thin and then it gets a little bit thicker at the bottom. I think I got this for like three dollars and I'm excited to play around with like white button up shirts, black button up shirts, um, different like styles of tying it, whether it's like a real neat structured tie or whether it's just like a really haphazard kind of all over the place style of tying it but I'm excited to play with that and it also gives me like Nana vibes um, if you all know which anime I'm talking about love you all for that <laughs> so moving on to small businesses um, this one's a bit of an interesting one so uh, there's this place that's um, not too far from here where this lovely old man has just been collecting crafts supplies and like sewing supplies for years and years and years and years and, years. and he is so feisty and I love I love going in there because he is just like on fire and it's so fun to like chat with him but basically I picked up some pieces to sort of keep in my collection as a bit of a um like for my all my DIYs that I have planned to do so the first things I got from him were these amazing I love these so much I got three of them these amazing like big obnoxious piercing pe like jewelry things obviously they're not real jewelry but they're like i don't know what people uh, what normal people would put them on but i just think these are so freaking cool and i can imagine them looking really cool coming out the side of a cap or as like um like rings on a shirt like that so that's the plan for those i've got three of them like i said um they were pretty inexpensive i think they're like 350 each which i think is such a steal and these i've been looking for something like this for so long the next item i got was this epic over the top uh safety pin oh my god like come on y'all look at that it's huge like that's comparatively to like the size of my head right um so i have no idea what i'm gonna put this on i think like i can put it on skirts i can put it on top bags i guess um i just think it's one of those sick pieces that i can like clip on and off and it does work um, clip on and off onto like different accessories and different um, outfits even like ties and stuff would look sick but that's just like oh my god it was so good and seven dollars the next item I got was this string of diamantes so I have plans for this to go on that cap that I showed y'all before I want to make this cap super tacky so I'm planning on putting the diamantes on like that um, and maybe even like down the bottom here but these diamonds are so pretty and I just think that they are like ultimate tacky, um, bitchy vibes which is uh, another like aesthetic that I love. Okay and the final piece that I got from that, oh my god y'all are not freaking ready for this. So this guy hand makes um, some of the like pieces that you can buy from him and when I saw this I literally screamed and he was so excited because I was like dying. <sighs> Okay, you ready? Let me show you. Okay, as you can see, it is this Vivian Westwood brooch. It is massive, like comparatively with my palm, that is freaking huge. And it was only $15. He said he made them like 20 years ago, um, like made the cast for them and, and, and like filled them with the metal or whatever and then put the diamonds on them. Um, and he's been, he's had them there for like 15 years and I'm surprised no one's bought them. So I picked this up for $15 and I am freaking in love I cannot wait to use this on like so many different um, I don't know like jewelry or outfits or anything like that I'm going to like definitely place it in between like collared shirts like this and I have an idea for a necklace which I might film I might not but you'll we'll probably see it at some point um, I can't <laughs> this is a cap from a brand called KG's Planet uh, they sent me some pieces because they want me to um, film some content for them. Sorry, film some photographs and content for them. So they sent me this cap, which is so freaking cool. It's obviously like a bleach style cap. And on the front, um, it says uh, technologies. That's the front design there. And I just think the bleaching on it is sick. Like I'm just like so into this like black um, and bleach 
uh, like colorway and again with the whole shaving head I need to protect my head a bit more in the sun so this is perfect I can't wait to film some content for uh, shoot some content for them um, but yeah I will link them check out Heiji's Planner I'll link all the small businesses that I talk about in this so um, yeah pretty sick right okay so the next pieces I'm showing you were also sent to me by um, a Melbourne brand it's called Vincent um, Vincent Jewelry and they sent me two pieces of jewelry which I have already taken um, content photos for and are up on uh, my Instagram and their Instagram as well. The first piece is this like dangly earring that um, goes between two ear holes. I'll definitely pop a picture up somewhere but it's just this beautiful like chain all handmade in Melbourne. And then the second piece is this cuff that obviously just cuffs around the um, conch of the ear and it's nice solid piece of metal. Um, just just really nice pieces to like add extra to any outfit again i'll put pictures up of me wearing it um and the content that i shot for it but absolutely beautiful i love these pieces the owner is so lovely so y'all should definitely go check it out so i was sent um three pieces by a brand called vitali um I'm, I, I believe that's how you pronounce it some of y'all might have seen this brand already but they contacted me and asked if i would like some pieces there was no sort of like you have to promote us you have to do anything it was just we like your style so rep our pieces um so i picked out three pieces they gave me a 200 dollars budget and i got first a ring i just want to say the packaging of these is really nice um so this is the ring that i picked up i've worn this ring a crap load already also these guys um use 100 percent recycled recycled stainless steel which is awesome so this is the ring obviously next to my other rings but that is the ring there it's this amazing like pointed hooked um, design. I'll put the name of it somewhere so that y'all can like find it if you want to and also link the website but beautiful piece so solid the quality is amazing I'm really really happy with this piece. The next piece I got was this ear cuff I'm so gutted because it just doesn't quite fit my ears I got a small size I should have got a large I should have just known but it's this amazing ear cuff and I'm considering it giving it to someone um, instead so look at that how pretty and it just cuffs around your ear obviously um, I just think this piece is stunning, like it's very cool, very different. And the last piece is this necklace, it's like a two-style two necklace I suppose, so it has a chain in the bottom, the carabiner uh, clip there, and then it has the big chunky uh, beads on that side. I freaking love this so much, again, amazing quality, super heavy, um, I don't know, I just think like these pieces are really unique and very cool and y'all should definitely check out the website they have so much going on there um, and again 100% recyclable um, stainless steel which is amazing so yeah okay y'all so two more pieces of jewelry uh, this brand is called kick in the eye um, I've mentioned them on my channel before when I was talking about my piercings uh, but the, the the person who runs this is a close friend of mine um, her stuff is just absolutely amazing so I have two pieces from her one was for my birthday uh, actually a year ago um, but I have never sh showed on here as at least I don't think I have and the other one I bought myself so first piece is this and it's this 100% uh, I believe it's 100% recycled materials um, handmade by one person little single earring I freaking love this it's got a black stone in the middle and every single piece is just beautifully handmade so stunning um, I love to wear it as like a you know like by itself kind of vibe so it looks kind of like that i just love this piece so much and the other piece is this beautiful hand again handmade um heart and dagger necklace how pretty is that oh my god i love it so much um yes yeah, so like i said i bought this piece myself it's again really heavy and just such a stunning unique piece and you can see that it's handmade which is what i love so much about it so kick in the eye stuff is super amazing um their jewelry has a lot to do with like bondage style pieces um and just nice heavy metals i freaking love this also they like to contrast with um like pretty things like gemstones and stuff like that so amazing i'm gonna link this everywhere but how pretty is that <laughs> okay so I have uh, three more pieces the first piece is a set of we a uh, set of uh, ponytail sorry I obviously have shaved my head so I actually can't wear these now but I have a plan for how I want to use them um, so the brand is called trash mama wigs I will make sure that I put um, the link somewhere but they are these beautiful long black 
ponytails oh my god and they feel so good for like synthetic hair as well um so i bought these for myself a couple months back now but when i show my head i obviously can't use them but they're just like ones that you they sort of have like a drawstring on them so you can like drawstring and tie them to your actual hair when you make buns they are just like so freaking cool i have a plan for how i want to use these now that i can't wear them um i want to put them on a gimp mask i have a friend who makes latex and i just think that would be such a sick piece so beautiful quality i love trash my wigs i also love the owner they're they're so kind i've had chats with them before lovely person um and i also want a competition for a week from them which i'm waiting to come through now they also do um keychains that you can clip into your hair they do so much stuff so i'm gonna definitely throw their um handle somewhere and you all can go have a look at these amazing wigs i believe this one is like 20 something inches so it's like hella long but oh my god these are so nice and they're so well priced as well they are so well priced okay so the next piece i have which is from a friend of mine she has started making latex um and oh sorry started making latex items and i bought this is this piece which is like a test piece i guess i paid 50 dollars for it and oh my god <laughs> if you all follow my instagram you would have already seen this but it is a red latex gimp mask. It's so freaking cool. Oh my God. Um, it looks, it's like, it's really cool, but on, oh my God, it looks so good. I will put a picture somewhere of me wearing it because I posted a picture on my Instagram wearing it. Um, but the fact that she's only sort of just recently started like fully making latex garments, I'm so shocked with the quality of this. Like this is really, really good, especially for a test piece. So now I have like a cherry red gimp mask and it's just so much fun to wear. Uh, yeah i don't know it's just it's just awesome okay so final piece and i've showed this one before i believe i've worn it in photos i've done a video previously where i styled it so i won't go too much into detail but um if y'all don't already know who the end lingerie are you absolutely have to go and look them up we'll link them of course they make the most amazing pieces it's a small business everything is sustainably made and it's all lingerie so the two pieces that I purchased from them was this bralette, which has this amazing um, jewelry, whatever you would call it, piece in the middle, like piercing piece. And oh my God, the quality of this is so nice. It fits so well. Um, I don't remember what size I got. I think I would have got like a medium. That seems like what I would normally get. Um, I just think that these are like so, so beautiful and so amazingly made for someone for like handmade. Um, they're very popular at the moment, so definitely go and check them out. But I got that piece, and I got this piece, which is going to be a little tricky to show. I probably won't be able to show this one properly, but it's a, it's like a garter. It's like a, a garter thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to show you all this. Okay, I'm going to have to show you all this, like, just on a cart, because, like, I can't. But it's a garter belt kind of vibe, and it can go over, like, trousers or underwear or skirts and it just looks really 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 freaking cool on this is about the best that i can do for y'all um and it has leg straps it has a big giant ring in the middle and again just a really amazing piece i'm so happy to have this i will be doing cutaways so y'all can see but oh my god the lingerie is just so cool and they're always coming out with um maybe not always but like they're often coming out with like new pieces and they keep of they have like a good collection of all the other stuff they've previously made so y'all need to go check it out i freaking love everything that they make and i want to own so much more from them but for now i've got these two pieces and i'm so happy with them all right y'all that is it for my sustainable secondhand thrifted haul i hope you all enjoyed watching it Thank you for being patient for me bringing out another video and hello to any new subscribers that we have. I see you all coming in. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, if you want to know anything about anything more about the pieces I got, just let me know. I will make sure that I um, reply to comments. But other than that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in my next video, which will hopefully be a moving vlog kind of vibe. Otherwise, yeah, see you later. <laughs>